Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today I am coming at you with two crock pot recipes. Comfort food, perfect for fall and winter months. We have a pasta dish and then we have a traditional tater tot casserole with a fun spin, all of which are WW friendly and both recipes were absolutely incredible. So if you're excited for today's crock pot series, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, please join my community, stick around. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it, and you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. I have quite a few recipe videos. Just check out the playlist tab, and you'll be able to find all of those, and you'll walk away with a ton of new WW-friendly recipes. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below for my website where you'll find these two recipes, as well as all of the other recipes that I've shared, as well as my nutrition coaching. I'd love to help figure your macros, calories. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, both 30 minute and 60 minute sessions. Definitely take advantage of calorie calculation. It's important to kind of know what you should be eating every day. So make sure you're checking out my nutrition coaching website. Links and discount codes to my favorite things, as well as the link to head over and join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you in that community as well. You're going to find all of that down in that description box. So let's jump into two WW Friendly Crock-Pot comfort food recipes. For tonight's crock pot dinner, we're making slow cooker tater tot casserole. I'm super excited for this. Who doesn't love a good tater tot casserole? And even better, you can throw it in the crock pot. So let me show you what's in dinner. You'll need a bag of frozen green beans, approximately two to three cups, or two cans of canned green beans, low fat or reduced fat milk. The recipe calls for two cans of cream of mushroom soup. I don't know why I thought I had two cans, but I don't. So I'm just going to do one can and I will just pop in a little added milk to get enough liquid for the recipe. Some salt and pepper. Tater tots, I have these yummy extra crispy ones. Light shredded cheese and a pound of 96% ground beef. So let's make some dinner. I forgot to mention onions. You can use a fresh onion. I'm going to go ahead and do minced onion. So the first thing we're going to do is grab out a nonstick skillet, add your pound of ground beef and your onions, and we're going to cook this down until browned. As your ground beef is cooking, we are going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. When your ground beef is cooked, we're going to add in our milk. So the original recipe calls for half of a cup of milk. I did a full cup because I'm short a can of soup. And then I'm going to add in my can of cream of mushroom. Stir that all together and set it aside. We're gonna start adding all the ingredients to the slow cooker. To my slow cooker, of course, I added a liner. We are going to put half of the bag of tater tots in the bottom of the slow cooker. We want a nice kind of even layer. To that, we are adding the entire bag of green beans. And then again, I'm just gonna kind of spread that out nice and even over the tater tots. We are then adding the rest of the bag of tater tots. So we're actually using the entire bag. Go ahead and add that. And then lastly, this yummy beef mixture with the cream of mushroom is going to go right on top. And I will stir this to make sure that all of the potatoes and the green beans get fully covered with the mixture. This is already looking so good. And then we're going to add two cups of shredded cheese just right to the top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Who doesn't love tater tots and tater tot casserole? And like I said, it's even better when it's in your slow cooker because it's so easy. And with these liners, cleanup is a breeze. So add your cheese and then we're gonna pop the lid on, turn it on to low heat for five hours. Five hours later. Look at how good this looks. Tater tot casserole crock pot style. I will serve this up and I'll be back to share points and calories, but holy moly. So here is dinner. The recipe makes 10 servings. One tenth using one can of cream of mushroom soup is eight smart points. If you do use both cans per the recipe, it is nine points, but this looks really good. Once 
once your meat is cooked through and you've drained off any excess grease, we're going to add the jar of marinara sauce. So I'm doing my can of diced tomatoes and then a can of tomato sauce. And this is again, substituting for the marinara. And then I'm just going to season this up with some Italian seasoning. And again, it'll be just like I put in marinara. So we're going to mix this all together and let this simmer on the stove for about five minutes. Doesn't this look so good? Oh my gosh, I'm pretty excited. So we're just going to put just a small layer of the meat mixture at the bottom of the crock pot, just a very, very fine layer. We just wanna make sure that the noodles and things do not stick to the bottom of the crock pot. Next, we're going to take some of the oven ready lasagna noodles and we're going to put them in the bottom of the crock pot. We are making some layers. So we want about three layers total. So I wanna make sure that I use about three lasagna noodles per layer. To this, we are going to add ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some more of our meat mixture. Ricotta cheese is in, meat sauce, and then the last is, we have two cups total of mozzarella cheese, so we wanna divide that up into four. So we're going to add about a half of a cup of mozzarella over the top, and then we're going to repeat And there it is. So pretend that there isn't a big lump of frozen marinara. So I keep my crock pot marinara in the freezer. So I wasn't able to fully defrost it. No big deal. It'll just melt down as it cooks. This looks incredible. We have three layers of lasagna noodles, meat sauce, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese. I'm super excited. So we're actually going to get this ready to start cooking. So we are actually going to cook ours on low heat for eight hours. You can also cook this on high heat for four hours, whatever your preference is. But let's cook up some crock pot lasagna. I am really excited about tonight's dinner. Eight hours later. So this is my dinner. This is that crock pot lasagna. It turned out really, really good. The whole crock pot only makes eight servings. So this is a lot and I am excited for dinner. Thank you for joining me for these two crock pot comfort food recipes. I hope you are as excited as I am about them because let me just tell you, they were both absolutely incredible. Again, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure that you are subscribed and that your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Check out that description box for my recipe website nutrition coaching, links, discount codes to my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join all of the positive supportive communities over here on my channel. So thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these two recipes and I'll see you next time. Bye.